Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this cycle flow diagram. So let's go on to a new slide. Then go to insert and select this hollow shape. It's, it's, it's a donut. I think they call it hollow. Just draw a big enough donut. Adjust the size of uh, the donut. Then go to insert and from the, the arrow section, select a chevron, adjust the thickness and the angle of your chevron. You can then color it to have a white fill, place it on top like so. And I'm sure by now you can see what we are trying to do here. So depending on how many parts we want for our graphic, we just need to duplicate this chevron place it in the right right part of the donut adjust its angle and we are 80 percent there so i'm just going to speed through this uh, so you don't need to watch me do all these minor adjustments so i'm i'm going here with a diagram that that will have six parts to it so as you can see this process can take a little bit of time at least the first time because you are trying to adjust the angle and uh, the position now you can do this really accurately but i'm not going to demonstrate that here for the sake of time i'm just going to eyeball it before we move on to the final step one thing i would highly recommend you do is first duplicate this slide if there are any changes you would like to do to your graphic it's always good to have the original also if you make any mistakes during the next step you can always go back and correct it as long as you have the original template so let's go ahead and duplicate that okay so i am happy with what i have so far select all these shapes then go to format menu under format you will find this icon this looks like two circles overlapping twirl it open and select this option called fragment so once you click on the fragment option as you can see everything just disappeared but no need to panic it's all there what you need to do is assuming everything is selected from the fill menu just select any color that you want and you will see that it's all there now we just need to clean this up a bit so quickly select the inner circle just delete it then select all these places where the chevron sign used to be there and delete it once you have cleaned up all these extra shapes i think we are there as you can see all these sections are now their individual shapes that that you can manipulate the way you want so I'm just going to color these one by one from the fill menu it's looking nice the final step is adding in the text what I'm going to do is just going to number these from 1 through 6 in your case if the text is bigger you can just put an arrow next to the shape and put the text outside of this graphic and maybe put icons or just like numbers inside these shapes so there you have it so let's say if uh, we wanted to create a diagram with just four sections now all you need to do is go back to your template duplicate that and instead of six chevrons you just need four of them so the way you would go about doing that is delete the extra chevrons from the template then arrange the four chevrons like so again go to format then select all select fragment clean up the extra shapes finally add some color 
and there you have it we were able to turn a six part diagram into four parts within like a couple of minutes so having that flexibility is awesome and i hope you find it useful so if you like this video please be sure to click the like button if you would like to be notified of the future videos hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time